my parents read me Peter Rabbit when I was a kid. I loved it. Um, I always loved the character. I didn't quite remember everything about it. I just knew I loved the character and I loved him. I loved the twinkle in what I perceived his eyes. And then I started reading them to my kids when they got to be that age. And I realized I, the same wave of nostalgia and emotion came over me as I was raising, reading to my kids. But I also realized at that moment how dark the stories are and how kind of adult they are. Uh, and the true nature of Peter who's told not to go into the garden because your father went in there and he was put into a pie. And, and if, if that was the case and you still go into the garden, you still touch the stove, you gotta have a you gotta be pretty mischievous. And I love that idea of this character. Uh, then, the, then we started looking at all the different books and tales that Beatrice Potter wrote and it, it, that, that, that whole kind of essence, we, we thought, hey, this, this, would, this would be pretty cool. Um, and um, Animal Logic, who's the great Australian visual effects company, came to me and said, hey, we think we wanna do this, what do you think? And I said, let's do it. This movie, I don't think, could have been made without it being started f with it from Animal Logic because they knew that they could do the animation. They knew they could figure it out, and they, and they did. And then the beauty of it is because they're so good at what they do, the danger of it is that I know they can do everything. So once I kind of had that tool in my tool belt with the actors and the voice booths, I said, well, let's just keep trying different things, different things, different things, and we'd have so much fun with it, write whole new storylines in the booth, get out of the booth with, say, Elizabeth or, or Daisy, and then go to my office, log on to Australia and say, hey, the session went great, we need to redo everything. Uh, and they went, oh no, not again. Uh, but they were so up for the task and th what they did, which was so amazing, is after about four or five minutes of this movie, you forget that these are computer generated. You believe, you even forget that they're animals talking. You just think that they're rabbits, you think that they're badgers. And the, the, what I'm most proud of Animal Logic's doing is at the very end, when it very, becomes very emotional, and you have these big close-ups of, of Peter and of, Mop, of you know, Elizabeth and Margot as rabbits, you feel their emotion just coming through the screen, and you see the fur, and you see little subtle movements. You forget that they're computer-generated, and that is, that is the beauty of what they did, is that they did work so hard to kind of erase in your head that it's an animated movie, and they did it. This was a embarrassment of riches. I mean, um, when I knew I wanted to do Rose Byrne because I worked with her before, and she's a friend of mine, and she'd be a perfect bee. So, you know, I said, "Hey, do you want to do it?" And she said, "This is this was very rare." She said, "Yeah, let's do it." And then, and trying to cast Mr. McGregor, I've always loved Donald Gleason. He's a chameleon. He's one of the best actors and comedic actors in a long time. I said, Donald, I meant to, went to meet with him. Do you want to work with Rose? He goes, I love Rose. I mean, everything just came. And then that's all steeped in the love that these people have for Beatrix Potter and Peter Rabbit. They all have an emotional connection to it. Same with, I met with Margot and, Ro, uh, Margot and Daisy and Elizabeth separately, and I met with them for a long time each, much more than I think they each thought. They thought they were just coming in for just a meeting for a voice thing. But once I kind of get to know who they were, wrote the characters for them, so the characters are a bigger reflection of them, so it's not just them voicing anything, but it's actually, as, as you said, we recorded them, filmed them, so by the time you see them on screen, I see Rose and I see Daisy and Elizabeth and Margot in the rabbits, and I think, I think you would too. First of all, I, I hope they take away that we've honored Beatrix Potter, and if you like Beatrix Potter, if you love Peter Rabbit, this is still for you, um, first and foremost. Secondly, um, family over everything. Uh, and thirdly, everyone makes mistakes. It's how we deal with those mistakes. And I believe there's strong messages in this movie, but they're delivered without uh, any medicine, with a lot of sugar so and a lot of carrots. So it's... It's on the way home when I think you're going to realize what the messages were. I really love the scenes between Rose Byrne and Donald Gleason. Um, I think those scenes are great, and there's the and the rabbits are watching these these. I just like the idea of rabbits, kind of kids watching two adults kind of meet each other for the first time, and it's very clear to them that they're mating. It's like a mating ritual, but it's not clear to the man and the woman and the rabbits are just looking going, what, what's happening here? What is going on here? Which I think is a very, it's a very universal thing. I like that. Um, and of course, I, um, I, just like, I just like that Peter can say the things he says and get away with it, and that's mostly because it's James Corden.
it was crazy because when they were when they were playing off of actual rabbits, you know, they had they were playing off of either stuffed animals or men and women with sticks or, or tennis balls or oftentimes just some with the light. Um, so it, we've, it got so commonplace that it was kind of funny to see Rose kneel down in the middle of a field in the beautiful countryside and put her put her forehead next against a a blue stick with a tennis ball on it and have an emotional scene where she started to cry and it's only after you yell cut that you realize you look around and go what are we doing but it takes a real actress and actors to uh, to actually pull that off and, and they did an amazing job